Hey, welcome to Canberra Metalheads. Um, this is episode number 80. Um, eight. Eight zero. Uh, this is the the last in the series leading up to Heathen Fest. So we've got a um, member from the band Plague Dweller here uh, on the show. How about you introduce yourself, man? Thanks for having me, guys. Donovan here, lead guitar from Plague Dweller. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, can't wait for Heathen Fest. Looking forward to it, eh? Yeah, it'd be a good one, man. Uh, so you got you, know, you recognize my voice if you're up if you're eighty episodes in and you don't know who this is, then you have to <laughs> go back and start from number one. Don't don't go past go. Um, so this is Marky Malpas and you got Jada K. So um, let's uh, oh let's do a quick back announce. Is there an intro track you'd like to just throw a sample of at the start of the show? Ooh. Even just do yeah. like a sample from a song. Oh man, I don't know. You pick for me. Go for it. <laughs> oh yeah. no, I, I'm just gonna find them. Do it. I'm do gonna... the, our names will not be called, man. Yeah, yeah, do that one. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think what we got out and what we don't. That's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys, yeah, well, our names will not be called. <laughs> is that is that a secret way of telling us that you're at the, in the process of recording at the moment? Oh um, yeah, we're getting pretty close, man. Yeah, but. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, definitely yeah. Control that one. It's got a good little start. Yeah, cool. Now we'll chuck that at the, at the top. Um so yeah, if you just heard the little intro for that, I usually just get a sample like less than like about 10 seconds from a song yes. and just chuck it at the top. But yeah, that's what you heard at the start there. Um and uh well, now we're well now you're here isn't it um, <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah we um actually a little bit of history with um with with the show this is episode 80 but we actually had uh luke like your current vocalist on yeah, the yeah. on the show it was like episode three um yeah you mentioned that actually the other day with chambers fucking yeah 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 so that that's cool and uh, i was yeah, digging yeah. through the archives and i found um an episode that i did with bastardizer that was just unreleased because they were talking about how one of their songs was in a porno so we couldn't release it um so i recorded it knowing it probably wouldn't make it on on, yeah, nice. on the air and uh that was when we did radio and podcasts but now we're off radio i can actually fi- i was finally able to put it out so yeah, man. Yeah, it's so cold. yeah, so there you go. So, the comments. <laughs> from from yeah, from the from the uh, from the archives, man. But yeah, so there's there's some history with with um, with at least Luke from um, from Plague Dweller, man. But you you you're doing um, lead guitars um, at the moment. Is there and and the first question was literally, is there any any recordings coming? So we managed to get that all covered off. It's efficiency. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, We've just been um, spending the last oh, year and a bit in COVID and stuff, just getting all the songs ready and basically just trying to play them all live and get them all gig ready before we go into the you know recording studio. So it's all sorted. But um, yeah, we're pretty much on our way for a good twelve track opener. So yeah, nice. can get it done. Yeah, and where are you recording that? Um, looking at uh, Ryan Huffman's or possibly Matt Clark as well. Bust days are. Yep. Obviously. Yep. Yeah, that's that's awesome, man. See, it all comes full circle. I managed to hit all the um, all the points early on. Bloody hell, I peaked too early. Um, we're we're like three minutes into this, and already the, and already we crammed the uh, crammed in a fifteen minute interview. It, <laughs> is is this going to be a representation of the turnaround time between bands at um, at Heathen Fest? <laughs> Are we going to be the first metal gig in the history of of man that actually ran to time? <laughs> man, it takes me about 20 minutes to figure out what cable's going where it takes yeah. me so long to unload man <laughs> no it's it's all part of the fun like i think that um especially with some of the larger lineup shows it's it's good to have it have it running smoothly but at the same time like you kind of got to prepare for every now and again something to to uh take longer than it needs to it's all part of the game some chaos mate yeah yeah one, one dude <laughs> One dude bumps the other dude's guitar as he's getting off, and you have to break up a blue. And like yeah. before, you, before you know it, that like you got drummers trying to fight each other, and they don't remember how to like determine the difference when their fist and their elbow, so they start punching <laughs> themselves in the face. And no, <laughs> no, actually, a drummer's probably the 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 ones I shouldn't be pissing off. If I'm honest, man, like. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, but yeah, man, you, you've always um, always been lead guitar, or have you? Um, speaking of other instruments, is um, is there? Have you dabbled with anything else? Especially when it comes to recording, it sometimes helps. I, I think um, in some cases to have an understanding of different instruments. Yeah, um, I started off playing piano when I was younger, and yep. then I uh, went through to classical guitar and did my university degree for classical guitar performance, and then. Um, Went to metal after that, but uh, yeah, I played a bit, man, because I'm music teacher by work, so. Yeah, cool. Oh, it's awesome, really man. Stuff, Doing yeah. God's work. <laughs> um, you're creating, creating metal heads, yeah, the new crop of metal of heads. Produce, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they'll, they'll, um, one day one of those kids is going to chuck on the uh, the first heavy band that they ever hear and be like, I bet you this is what Sir used to listen to when he was driving. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'll just try and swing him that way. Hey, you start yeah. getting them into ACDC and get a little bit heavier, and then the cattle decapitation by the end of the week. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're like they're metal as fuck, but they're also vegan. <laughs> yeah. Like you're just sitting there trying to work out what, like what, what, what side they're gonna. Actually, uh, the the basement has a full menu, and they have a whole bunch of burgers named after different names. Yeah, actually, we ate there when we went down and played right. uh, Canberra Metal Fest. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, we covered off a few of the bands from Metal Fest, but because it got rescheduled, we kind of um, lost a little bit of the um, the follow up to the to the yep. gig. But yeah, it was cool to actually get there and see that. But yeah, my proposal for a, for a burger there was the cattle free capitation. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah see, yeah. there we go. Fucking, that's good. Uh, um, but yeah, so you're a, you're a cattle decap fan, yeah, or yeah, man, I um I listened to him for oh man probably about six or seven eight years now. Sort of found him a bit later, but um I saw him here at the Cambridge before COVID and stuff. Would have been two thousand nineteen with Revocation. It was good, good gig, man. Blew me away. Yeah, nice. And and you guys are are you all based in Newcastle or? Uh yeah, yeah. 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 Nice. Yeah. I, I do stand up. I try not to put it into all or every episode, but I am. Um, and the, <laughs> the stand up scene up in New is kicking off at the moment. So it's cool to see like just the arts in general are coming back. Yeah. yeah. They got this, um, you probably know that new little comedy for club that opened up down here. Yeah. One of the main streets. So I think that's been good for it, but yeah. Yeah. No, I heard a lot about the history of that. Like the blokes just had like painted it out and fitted it out all themselves and all that sort of shit. So yeah, yeah. it's good to see things come up from the ground, you know, like p blokes getting in and just getting their hands dirty and getting stuff off the ground, you know? Yeah, for sure. After COVID and stuff, I just need money and interest back in arts and whatever. So yeah. Yeah. So what, what about, um, collections and things man I, I i i did have a question passively for luke in case he was gonna like wanted <laughs> yeah. to drop in That's but, man for your collections yeah <laughs> yeah he's the man for the collections what about yourself though man do you have any sort of like um physical collections or anything like that man, for honestly, music? Not, much, hey. not, yeah. not much i um no i've got a few records and stuff but uh yeah nothing too actually man luke's your dude for all your collections oh man yeah a whole room of it man covered cases <laughs> oh, dude yeah yeah see my so um so luke's up in newcastle as well yeah yeah, yeah. um because uh yeah i think we spoke about collections briefly when i chatted to him years ago um on the show but um i'm like yourself man i just choose like uh, two bands and i have like all of their vinyls and that's it like i just had to keep yeah. a cap on it because I, I would end up like my brother luke has a massive collection as well we should have a luke off and just get them both <laughs> to see, luke, yeah, yeah bring, <laughs> see who has the who which luke has the biggest fucking collection <laughs> Uh, um uh, yeah it, that'll be the title see which luke has the biggest and then yeah, in small good. in small letters collection that's good um but yeah man oh well the um the, anything else need to promote man what was that man sorry uh, have you got anything else need to promote besides Eden? um yeah not really too much man we got some um, sunday uh no that's before isn't it we actually yeah we got dapto next weekend on friday and then we're doing sydney frankie's on the sunday so uh yeah that'll be a fun little one and um then egan fest the week after and i think we're trying to take the um back end of the year pretty cruisy to get this um album done so yeah sick yeah yeah, yeah nice and uh so we're, we're chatting earlier about your um low-key marshall drop in the background there <laughs> <laughs> now i'm the angel power boy <laughs> yeah that's right the uh is a 
it's about to we're about to uh, recreate one, like a scene from Metalocalypse or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, how how good was that show, man? Like, oh man, that was next level. Eh? They so um, good. they're doing a the the rights have been sold, man. So they're bringing it to like Netflix or some shit. Oh far out, yeah. Oh right. shit. Okay, fuck. Yeah, that's cool. That's good. Oh, yeah, there's a there's a drop for you here on Metal News. Um, <laughs> do do you love this news channel, man? We get the news and then we release it three weeks later. <laughs> it's like the ultimate news platform. It's yeah. like the we we're gonna call it the retro news because like we report on shit that happened fucking that's weeks ago. <laughs> hey, someone's gonna talk about it, right? Well, I don't think they're about to bring it up on a current affair about nah. about the. Um... <laughs> Actually, if Metalocalypse makes it onto a current affair, I'll be very happy. Um, yeah. <laughs> Bloody um, Tracy Grimshaw rocking up there with. <laughs> fucking... That's an explosion in the background. Yeah, yeah. This, like, <laughs> we've all met a real life Nathan explosion, haven't we? Oh, dude, I certainly have. Yeah. I actually remember the first time I ever met this bloke, um, it was when I was actually watching Metalocalypse, like when that was a big um, yeah, big right, thing at yeah. the time. And uh, I only just, I work at the basement and I only just started working there. And uh, I walked up to this dude out in the smokers area, we're just chatting about, oh, that was a cool gig, you know, do you play? What sort of bands do you like? Just trying to make friends. And... Um, he was i was just like oh do you play do you play do you and he goes yeah yeah i'm like what sort of music do you play and he said death metal and i did i like dodged to one side i was just like oh i just was expecting the uh the punch that follows yeah. um but yeah we've all met that guy before oh, it's like the the peter Steele cross between corpse grinder sort of <laughs> yeah. oh crack up um but yeah, uh, where, where, where were we? Um, the uh, the the Marshall stack in the background there. We usually like I'm not I'm not crazy with my um, tech as far as stage stuff goes, but JDK is the man for that um, with the breakdown. I mean, you can I can still appreciate it. I'm like when you when when someone brings their uh, brings their misses to a sporting game and they're just, yeah, they're just they're there, to, just... <laughs> there to enjoy. But um, the uh, the gear breakdown, man. What sort of stuff do you do? You have obviously a lot of bands have a traveling kit and a studio kit. Do you want to give us a break? down of what you have on both both sides of the yeah, scale yeah yeah of course man um i'm all right pretty simple i've got my stuff and just pretty universal so um four gig and i'll just take that angle savage 120 you can see in the background there um and then i'll just run a line six helix through like a four cable method so you get all my stuff pre and post which is good and then um yeah other than that man pretty simple we just got wirelesses got a check to jeff loomis seven that i use that's my baby nice. played all the stuff and um yeah, that's about me for guitars, and my other guitarist, Vaughn, who's also in um, Evocatus, he uses an angle as well. He's got the uh, the Powerball, so we just get the dual angles going, all four cables. <laughs> yeah, it's a good little setup. And then, uh, yeah, other than that, pretty simple, man. Just fucking wireless in ears. That's yeah. it. Yeah, bloody hell, fuck! It just, uh, is this? I think that the the underlying theme of this episode is just going to be efficiency. Like for some <laughs> for some people, that'd be like a like a twenty minute breakdown. Um, that was that was my closing bit, but I'm going to have to pull yeah. something out of my ass. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm pretty simple with it, man. Like honestly, I don't fuck around with you know tones and stuff yeah. too much. I get my thing that I like. I might mess around with it every couple of months or whatever, and then I'll my ears change a bit. Yeah. But, um, yeah, we just got our little set patches and we just set up and go. No, I, I think that that probably helps a lot when it comes to touring and that sort of shit as well. Like, if you kind of know your rig and you're good to go, then you sort of don't have to piss about too much. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. I think the, um, I mean, the next step, just to add something to that, the next thing that we're trying to do is trying to get all the uh, the MIDI patches done so we don't have to actually physically press our pedals and stuff. But, man, that, that goes over my head. <laughs> yeah. Automation's fun, man. Yeah, yeah. I just yeah. Been with that all morning. Yeah, yeah cool. <laughs> it's a nightmare, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it's not, not going to be my job, so I'm happy. I'm happy just to sit back and say, just plug this in for me, boys, and I'll do it. But... <laughs> yeah. But basically, those those helixes are amazing for that, man. Yeah. Um, are you running your own guitar tone, or are you just using the helix? Yeah, run mine, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, no, that shit makes you crazy, man. Like, literally, I, last time I seen Joe's, like, a week ago, his beard had no grey in it, man. He's just been <laughs> trying to do this fucking... <laughs> try, see, it's just, it just yeah, it's creeps I, up yeah, on you. My ass. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking automation's just fucking killing people, man. Yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, man, that, that's a whole different world. I struggle to plug all my cables in the right spot. It's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> Before you know it, your guitar's got no plug in it, and you're looking around, and it's hanging out of you somewhere. You try oh, Dude, my worst one, I probably, I reckon maybe seven, seven out of every ten gigs, I'll be there, I'll set up, put my guitar on, playing, and the eyes go wide, I'm like, fuck, I'm going sound, boys, what's going on? They're like, have you plugged your head into the cabin? I'm like, nah. <laughs> every time. <laughs> yeah. the guy that's, like, chasing everyone to make sure they're okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Troubleshooting for everyone, it's, Yeah. It's yeah. always fun, man. Always. Yeah, you sit, you sit, you they're sitting there like, uh, can we, can we get more guitar in the? Full, actually, can we get any guitar in the full band? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I um, like for, from years of watching gigs and like working at gig venues and the, uh, the gig venues and shit like that, man, I can say like that I, i've never heard a vocalist say can i get less of me in the fallback <laughs> yeah, <still> be less. <laughs> um but yeah dude that's uh that, no, that's, a, that's a mad mad breakdown there man i'm uh we we try to keep these around the 15 minute mark so that's um that's our that that's that's covered off pretty much everything we had was there anything else you'd like to um plug on the show Oh man, nothing from us really. Just thanks for having us on, and thanks for organising some sick shows and good little venue down there. Eh? We love it. Yeah. I, um, I've been down there before, but it's the first time I played down there the other um, the other month for Canberra Metal Fest, and um, sound was great. Venue was good. Dual stages is awesome. Yeah. So um, yeah, no, just going to be back. Yeah, no, looking forward to it, man. Really appreciate you uh, dropping into the show, and uh, we'll uh, just give everyone a, a quick heads up there's the uh he- heathen fest on the 3rd of uh september you've got um this is like i mentioned the final uh the interview before the uh before the gig so that's in a week from time of release um and yeah we'll be able to catch the uh, fellas from plague dweller and uh a bunch of other lineups 10 bands in total so pretty cool to be able to split that between two stages and finally get some get some people out of the house for sure Sure, glad to be part of it. Thank you. Yeah, cheers. Thank, thanks for being on the show, and uh, we'll we'll catch you at the gig. Yes, yeah, no worries, guys. See you soon.